I'm, I'm Clayton T. I teach at Central Tarleton High School. I teach civics, I teach U.S. history, I also teach special education. I, um, I got a couple amazing teachers I had in high school. Um, Steve Smith from um, Teller County, um, he taught me math, and uh, Jack McGlone taught me history. And I went in both of them, so I went and actually uh, mathematics to start with, then I changed my major to history later on. But, but great teachers, um, they loved what they, did, what they did, and they just was amazing people. And, and I think that's what a great teacher is, an amazing person. And if you're a great person, then I think it translates to be a great teacher. I, this is my um, 15th year teaching at Central Tarleton High School. Uh, the first day, uh, I don't really like first days um, because once you, once you get back into it, I think that's when you know it becomes just natural. But the first day, I'm usually nervous. I usually stay up all night. I'm usually just, I'm probably more nervous than anybody. But that. But after that second, third day, that's when I start getting in my groove and I, I, can, I can really teach, I think. I, the first 15 minutes, first thing kids do is they come in, they'll get questions a day off the board, and then I'll just tell them what we're doing today. You know, we're talking about World War II today. And then after they get a question today, we'll go over it, make sure they got the right answer, make sure they understand why, the, why it's the right answer. And then we're doing notes. We'll do notes over the subject we're talking about. If we're doing assignment, then we'll do assignment. Usually they get the laptops out or the book, whichever one they prefer to use, and they start working in groups, groups of fours usually. What I do, um, one, uh, two days a week, we do notes. Um, I, I lecture, um, I do old school lecture, do it on PowerPoint, I make sure all the notes are highlighted what they need to know, I explain it in, in their terms. I think that's very important, you break it down where students can understand, you know, what, in their terms. I think a lot, a lot of teachers sometimes teach over the kids. I think you've got to break it down to their level. You can use the big words, but then you break them words down. Uh, and then um, the other two days we do assignments over the work and then on that fifth day we usually either do a test or quiz. Uh, usually our classes range anywhere from 15 to 20 students. We have, we have a, usually small group settings usually and that, that's, that's good. That means you can give one on, more one-on-one -on -one, um, attention to students. I do um, four regular regular ed classes. I do two civics, two U.S. history, and then I do um, three classes of, of special education. Yeah, so I have about 60 kids usually somewhere around there, give or take. I went to Columbus State. I graduated with a B.A. in history and secondary education. I eventually went back and got my master's in secondary education. Um, Certified in special ed, history, government, and also um, gifted teach gifted classes. Um, but how I got here, um, I, I applied to one or two places. I came here, and I, I think it was Miss Lindsay. Um, uh, she offered me a job right on the spot. I took it, and I've been here at Central for 15 years now. I, got, I started in 2008, so this is my 15th year teaching. Um, I love it here. I mean, that's that's one thing. You, the kids are special kids that, that they they you you got to love them i mean just the just the way they act towards you you know it, it's an amazing place to work what 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 motivates me to come is, is the kids i mean it, it, if you're not here for the kids you ain't here for you know you can't it, it ain't the paycheck i promise you that I, you know, people talk about teachers get paid. We, we, we get, you know, we get our state salary. That's pretty much it. But you gotta love teaching these kids because, um, you know, they're, they're amazing kids. They're, they're, they're just, they're, they're special kids. I, I love them to death, I promise you. And, and, and I think they love me. And that, and that makes it even better because, you know, it's a relationship here. You know, we got to have, you know, we got to have a relationship where I can teach and they can learn. And if we can both get that, then, then that's all we're asking for. <clears throat> when I first got the job, you know, um, I'm, 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 I grew up in a neighboring county, so I knew about uh, Tobles and all that, and I lived in um, um, the Mock area. So um, when I got a job, it, it, it was to me, it's, it's, it's good. I, I knew the kids, you know, pretty much. You know, they were sort of the same area, same type of rural environment. Um, so when when I went to teach, I knew 
you know, I'm from a rural place. I knew they ain't, they ain't much to do. So, you know, I know how, you know, a lot of times what you have to do is sort of relate the material to what they know. And, and, and that's what I do. I, I make sure I relate it as, as, as close to what they would know as possible. I'm like, well, here's what this means. This is what, this is the scenario we're talking here in World War II. We're talking here, this is what happened. This is what you would know. And so I think that's why I'm a perfect fit for this because I know, I know the kids. I know, you know, how they can relate to information that is so abstract that they probably would never relate it to what they're doing in, in their own life. And, and that's why I think I'm a great fit from here. And, and, I'm, and I care. I want to make sure the kids learn information. I'll make sure to make the best scores on the test, the milestones as possible. And, and, and that's the reason I, I love teaching here. Uh, a lot of times the biggest challenge now, kids are used to getting stuff in like snippets, like they're, they're, they're getting stuff immediately, five, six snippets on the, um, either the phone or the TV or, or even the internet. So, it, so they're, they're used to getting stuff compacted within you know, a couple seconds. So we're having to teach kids for like 50 minutes. So we have to keep their attention span for 50 solid minutes and, and that's hard. And so what you got to do is make a, you got to do a balance in that. You know they're gonna get off task sometimes when you just try to ease them back into it, you know. And, I, and if you can do that, if you can do it where in a way that they don't feel like you're being just overly, you know, watching them every second. Like a lot of times kids don't want you just hovering over, hover, hovering over them just like a, so what you do is every now and then you see them off task in a couple minutes, you know, you might get a minute or two and then you go, hey man, and you get back on doing that work. And so if you talk to them, and that's the next thing, it's, it's just talking to them. A lot of, I, you don't want to. You want to talk to them and not at them. I think if you do, if you do that, then then it's not so much of a challenge for the students. But like I say, um, teach them and them, and them for 50 minutes, and they're used to that little bit of a time span. That's that's the hardest part of teaching is, is keeping their attention span from 50 minutes. Because if I, if I see a need for a break, then I then we'll, we'll break. If I see that no one's, you know, everybody's just haywire, something's happening, or you, you know. So you know it, it's no telling. So sometimes, like, hey, y'all, we're gonna sit, take we're gonna take two minutes. Get our head back straight. We get our two minutes. Then we get back to whatever we're doing. Okay, we we back at it. Let's go. So um, what we do, we a lot of times do cahoot. Um, we'll do what I call Jeopardy basketball. And this what this happens is we get in groups and we'll we'll have a question on the board and we'll hold up our answer and whichever group gets it right, then we'll we'll come up to a I have a basketball hoop. We'll set up in here. And they get they get a point for getting the question right, and then if the group gets the question right, then they send a shooter up, and then we shoot basketball, and then at the end the, the winning team gets you know we have chips or or a drink or something like that. So I, I think that's very important. Competition is very important. Um, if you don't have competition, then then why even play? You know what I mean? And then you got to have some kind of prize because if you don't, you definitely you know what I mean it, that to me that keeps your team especially somebody something they want.